Moving to another important scene that has information for you. Be there now and trust your first impressions. Tell me what is happening and where you are. Wow. I'm inside a spaceship. Mm -hmm. I feel like I am surrounded by a council, mm -hmm. many beings of light. Wow. Mm -hmm. We are in circle. And I feel like I'm the, the youngest there, like the, like a student, an apprentice. And they are having a meeting. Oh. Tell me about these beings. What do these beings look like? I, I I feel so much beauty. Mm -hmm. They are so, so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like a body made of light. I'm just in awe. Mm. There is one especially I'm just staring at him. I cannot stop looking at him. He has a body made of light. He feels like a male. He has long hair. He's blonde. He has a weird costume. Mm -hmm. It's, I, I don't know, it feels so much beauty from, from him. Mm. Wow. And can you tell me about this spaceship that you're on? Can you tell me what it looks like inside? Yes, it has many rooms. Mm -hmm. Like there is a room for the pilots, but this room we're in is like, wow, it, it was, it is built like with with sacred geometry, like he has forms of geometry. I don't know if I am allowed to go to the other rooms. Okay. I'm just I'm just in the meeting meetings room and I feel so honored to be here. I'm like a child in front of them. I feel like they they are young, but they have lived forever. I don't know how to say that. Yes. They, I feel that they have no age. Yes. So let's get a look at your form. What do you look down at your feet and tell me? Tell me what you're wearing and what do you see on your feet, if anything. I have a white gown. Mm -hmm. No, no shoes, but no need mm -hmm. for shoes. 
empty. I feel small, like a, in a small body. Okay. Either they are very tall, mm-hmm. or or I am a, <laughs> or yeah, I am extremely short. <laughs> I don't know, but they feel like they are very big to me, like very very big. I. Do you feel they're the same as you, or do you feel like you're different? I feel different. I feel like a child. Mm-hmm. They are extremely tall and beautiful and elegant. Some of them were capes, but they they are they are made of light. It's like a light body. Mm-hmm. They are saying we are we are letting you be here. <laughs> Thank you. Can you ask them what kind of beings they are? What should we call them? <laughs> They laugh at my questions, Mm -hmm. big laughs. They say we are from everywhere. Some, some of them, they say from the Moria, Mm. some, they said serious, serious or something like that. Mm -hmm. But, uh, they say we are from God. Mm. That's the only place. Can you ask them why they have brought you here? Oh, you are the apprentice, they say. Mm. <laughs> I am here because they 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 want me to learn something. Okay. What would they like you to learn? Oh, they say I'm going too fast and ask too many questions. But uh, they say it is a, a path that learning is a It's a life journey and uh, they just wanted me to show, to show me that they are in command of everything that is going on right now. Okay. They, they are in command. I feel truly safe with them, like nothing could ever happen to me. Do any of these beings want to step forward and bring us a message? Yes, the blonde, the blonde hair, Mm -hmm. tall, beautiful guy. And you can allow him to connect with your consciousness and allow him to use your voice box and speak through you. Connected to him now. Wow. We we are we are in command. Don't be afraid. This is a process in God. This is a process to awake, to go home. We are called to go home. 
sometimes the only way to awake someone is through a crisis and the earth is living a huge, huge crisis right now to purpose is to awaken, to go home. Home is unconditional love. Home is to assume your gifts as a spiritual beings Home is to connect with the divine within. The appearance is a crisis, but the journey is a spiritual one. You are coming home. Trust the plan, we are in command. The angelic realm is in command. Don't be afraid. Jump to the paradigm of love. Don't get caught up in division. Many people don't want to wake up. They are comfortable being asleep. They are comfortable living through their egos, judging each other, going for the next girl, the next car, showing off their money, shaming others about who they are. That's their anger, their division paradigm. We understand it's a challenging moment. especially for light workers that don't see the end, the light at the end of the tunnel yet. But you will. The light workers on this earth are like seeds. Seeds of light. When a seed is in the right terrain, in the right field, it grows up. A single seed can create a beautiful garden. Light workers are here to blossom no matter what. They will create beautiful gardens everywhere in the world. Don't be afraid. I tell them once again, don't be afraid. You are guided. You are surrounded by your guides. You cannot see them, but every time you call in, Every time you ask for guidance, every time you pray, you will be surrounded by your guides. Pray from your heart. Pray from your soul. Don't judge anyone. Even though if they are cra doing crazy stuff right now, 
like shooting another person for a different political view or trying to manipulate you through the news. Tune into your heart. You know that this is appearance. Death is appearance. We are eternal. This is about a big awakening. And light workers are the main column for this awakening. Use, use your voice for the unity of the planet. Share your light. Some people have social media or are on TV or can write emails. Pray before you give a message so you can speak from your heart. So it's not your personality speaking out. So it is God within you. Give voice to the divine. People need comfort right now. Most people are afraid because they told them to be afraid. They gave their power away a long time ago to governments to fake media, to fake doctors. This is a moment of awakening, not fake authorities outside yourself, but the true empowerment is to tune in with the divine within yourself. God, Goddess, is within you, is inside you. Tune in. As many times during the day as you need, tune in. That is your perfect news channel. You don't need to watch television. You need to listen to your intuition. Your intuition will guide you during these difficult times. Ask for help from the enlightened beings. Make friends with other light workers. They also feel lonely, but you are not alone. It is just a big transformation. Suffering is just the appearance. Division is just the appearance. Don't ever trust in a message of division around race or sexuality or saying someone is better than the other. That is just division. No, the spiritual realm is about unity. It's about love. Unconditional love. Send waves, waves of unconditional love to the people, to someone that is suffering, struggling, or that thinks differently than you, or that is spreading fake news. Just pray for them. They are trapped in their own mind. 
they gave away their own power. They got lost. Connect over and over and over again to the divine, to God, God is within. That is your true north. And don't be afraid, we are in command. We are in command. You are guided. You are supported. You are loved. Thank you so much for coming through and bringing these messages to us. I wonder if you go by any name that we could refer to you as. Akashia. I wonder where, where is your home? Where's your home planet? Where are you from? I'm from Planet Sirius. Mm -hmm. I volunteered for this mission. There are many dimensions. And can you tell me more about what your mission is? Yes. Thank you. Help our little brothers and sisters to wake up. I volunteered in this mission as many others, many other angels and beings from everywhere. You feel lonely, but you're actually surrounded. The earth is surrounded right now. Completely surrounded by light beings. Mm. Do you mind me asking you a few other questions? Go on. Thank you. I wonder, you said you were um, here to help us wake up. Can you tell me a little bit about what you do to help us wake up? Yes. Thank you. We don't communicate with you, humans, like you understand communications. You see communications like a telephone or a computer, a TV. Mm -hmm. But we tune in with you through waves okay. of intuition, of knowledge. It's like you have, it's like what you call your Wi-Fi. You have your intuition. in your pineal gland, we communicate with you. We want to wake up that intuition. We create synchronicities for you. You see synchronicities such as numbers, such as people you find, such as moments of bliss. That's how we communicate with you. That's really beautiful. Um, how, how can we strengthen our connection with um, ones like yourself who are surrounding the earth right now. There are many like myself who are very interested in strengthening our 
connection to you guys or communication as it were <laughs> with you guys how can the ones that know that you are here how can we assist in growing our bond and connection with you all oh there are many many ways first one is through meditation and prayer through I love to call it like uh, loving silence. You don't need to do a specific meditation just to be in silence and tune in, tune in over and over again with your intuition, with the God within you. That is the most important thing. And also there are other ways because when you start doing research about the light team that surrounds the earth, you will find some stuff. I encourage you to make some research about us, about Lemurians, about um, the light team, about angels, the more you start to do the questions, the more you will find information and answers. Mm -hmm. uh, also, it is important to know that we don't communicate through words, but through holograms, through images and feelings. So tune in with Images, for example, if you have an image that you love and that makes you feel surrounded by angels, print that image out, make a drawing, have that drawing near your bed or near you to know that we are with you. We also love music angelic music, tune in with us through music, through images, through drawings, through your intuition. Remember that the communication with the higher team is not the communication you do like humans. It's another type of communication. You don't need your eyes or your words, you need your intuition and ask the questions, go to the internet for research, research for yourself, researching for yourself right now, it's a great way of awakening, not trusting the news, not trusting the fear outside, but doing your own research your own stuff, one page will lead you to another. We will be there guiding that research. Thank you so much. Um, can you give us any guidance um, around ascension and the physical process of ascension that many of us are experiencing right now? Are you able to give us some guidance? Yes. Thank you. First of all, you need to know it's so beautiful. <laughs> it's a beautiful process. Yes. Even though you feel your body very heavy or that your body is um, working against you sometimes, this is just the appearance. It is a process of beauty because every process that um, has a divine journey within is a process of beauty. So please remember that that is the main thing. This is a process of beauty and I don't mean human beauty 
as beautiful, but it's a blissful, blissful journey, blissful process where your body feels very heavy right now, very, very heavy because you are in the process of going to the light. And in the human dimension, when you exist in 3D, of course, your body is resisting. But please don't go for this resistance. Just let go. If you feel any physical pain, insomnia, um, if you feel physically exhausted, just remember that you are going through a process of beauty and bliss because it's the process of going to the light, to ascension. Don't judge it. Give yourself, please give yourself a lot of time to rest. This is very important. You need to rest more now than last year, for example. S sleep. Have more time to sleep, to process your body, your mind, your spirit. is going through so much right now. Ask for divine guidance. Heal. If you need to heal your body, heal with alternative medicine. You have flowers, you have herbs, you have nature, you have teas, you have some wisdom in other medicines such as acupuncture and uh, Reiki, all kinds of energy medicine, there are many, many ways if you need to comfort your body. And please treat your body with love. Listen to your body. Your body is living this process of ascension. Uh, be a good company for your body right now. And don't, don't fall for the symptoms. The symptoms are temporary. Temporary. They will pass one day. Once you feel more and more lighter, please uh, nourish your body with uh, natural foods. Foods that are not heavy, that don't contribute to the heaviness of the body and also put your feet on the ground go back to nature even if you live in a, a big city please connect uh, go to a park have plants have essential oils anoint yourself Go to the practice of anointing yourself with oils. Like if you are a goddess, a god, because you are, treat your body with love and compassion because it, it is doing a lot of work right now, a lot of work that you cannot see. It is becoming lighter and lighter. We are helping you to awakening your DNA. No such thing as junk DNA. Just we are waking up your DNA, waking up all of your senses, all of your intuition, um, so telepathy, and many, many, many gifts that you already have from God because they are right there in your body. They are just awakening. Your brain is awakening. It is forming new neural nets. They are uh, feeling vibrant neurons, new 
um, neural nets of new knowledge for the new earth. So your body is going through a lot right now. Treat your body with love. Tune in with your soul. Thank you. There's uh, still a huge amount of fear on earth surrounding the virus. Yes. Can you give us a status of this virus and can you give us your perspective on? Well, most of you know right now that it, it's not a virus that causes death. Mm-hmm. That is, if, if your mind, your human mind needs reassurance, needs, please research, please do your research. Mm-hmm. Don't watch television, uh, go and do your own research because the mortality of the virus is, is just, uh, it's just so little, it makes me laugh. It's just, it, it doesn't make anything for itself. A virus is a living, a living being also, micro, micro being. Uh, do meditation and the micro beings can also feel that vibration, vibration of love. But every time you feel fear, you attract something. Yeah. We are attracting. And of course, uh, they're very evil, evil, bad beings that want you to feel to feel uh, fearful, to fear panic, Mm -hmm. not only fear, but panic, because they can control you through panic. Panic is a way to give your, your power away to them and to accept all of these crazy new rules of living. And if you lose everything, your economy, if you lose your business, if you lose your health, if you lose everything, your rights, the right to go out outside, the right to go and hug your best friend. They want to rule everything. They want to rule about your, your intimacy. Don't caress someone. Don't touch someone. Don't hug someone. You need hugs. It's a, a, the language of love. Hugs and kisses and laughs. You don't have to laugh out loud in a restaurant because you might spread the virus. You know, those are crazy, crazy, crazy beliefs they want to impose on yourself. So by this moment, most of the humanity knows, they know inside themselves, this is, this was planned, planned uh, strategy to take your rights away. But in the 3D, a lot of people still don't know. They still give their power away. They still believe the government. They still believe TV. So I encourage you to do your own research if you need to. So the mind can have the facts, the statistics, the natural health, um, alternative medicine. There is medicine for this virus. Your immune system is strong. Don't focus on the fear, focus on creating a strong immune system. In a strong immune system, there is no such thing as disease, as a deathly virus. If if you have a strong, like, for example, a strong wall in your house, like nothing will happen to your house. Nothing will happen. You need to think outside of the box, outside of the economy, have different sources of economy, be creative, use the internet, 
it is a tool. There's a lot of censorship right now mm -hmm. because they don't want you to know certain things. And for the people that is spreading the truth, there's a lot of censorship. Mm -hmm. Notice that. Notice the plan behind these kind of measurements, behind the lockdown. Mm -hmm. Are they thriving in this lockdown? There are some people that is thriving. There are some businesses. What are they doing? Uh, ask for help. Ask for divine help uh, around your business, around your economy, around your finances. Ask for divine help to find a good doctor that is open to give you the right um, guidance for your body, for your help, for you already know. I mean, most humans already know just in 3D, their intellect is still believing this kind of lies. There was no need of a lockdown. The lockdown was made to, you know, just to, um, to so you can give your power away. So they, they want you to feel so fearful in such panic that you give your rights away. You have rights. You need to know that. Do your own research. Research on every constitution. You have the right to breathe. Please don't give that right away. Don't resist. Resist as human. Use the law because you have the rights. Use the law. Research the law, research about the censorship on the internet that is happening right now. Ask yourself why they are doing this censorship about the alternative medicine that is curing this virus. They don't want the cure. They don't want the cure. They want vaccines. They want control. They want power. That is, they are very, very wrong, evil. It, they are bad, bad beings. They are not even humans. Mm -hmm. They are not humans. But we are one in God. Don't believe any division um, paradigm. They want you to be against each other as humans. They want division through race. They're pushing this agenda of division through race, division through um, sex, division around countries, uh, division through elections, division through political parties, through political views, the only truth is God. The only truth is unity. We are all one. We are one in God. That's the only thing that you need to believe in. Believe in the wisdom of your body, of your immune system. Boost your immune system. Take uh, the natural, natural supplements, natural vitamins, Take the sun. They want to take you away from the sun. They want to be you to be inside your house. Why? The sun. The sun is a great. Um, it it is the greatest energy ever. Put your feet on the ground. If you put your feet on the ground and you have the sun, you're going to boost your immune system. Breathe freely that is uh, they want to take away your uh, most primal and essential rights the right the right to breathe the right to be in the sun the right to be outside of your house to put your feet on the ground to travel to nature the right to hug your loved ones the right to gather in parties, 
being happy, being joyful, can you see how controlling they are? Can you see how, how bad they are? Yeah. They want control for humanity. They don't want you to cure yourself. That's the same agenda uh, behind the vaccines. They, they already have, there are so many cures right now out there. So many cures. There are so many. Please do your research. Please, because the mind, the human mind needs facts to believe. So if you need facts, turn off the TV. Go do your own research. Go listen to the doctors that are already curing this disease. This is a temporary thing. This is a temporary disease. But it's a fight between light and darkness. And, you know, um, elections are coming in the U.S. So they will go further with the agenda of division through race, the division of your own inner wisdom or your body. Your body has its own wisdom. Trust your body. Boost your immune system. Don't believe their dark agendas. Wake up and bless when someone is not awakened, when someone wants to believe still their government and still they want to believe the big pharma. Okay, bless that person. Don't, don't, don't judge them. They gave the power away. That, that was the, the past, the old paradigm on earth. It's about giving your power away to doctors, big pharma, to governments, to the economy. Please don't do that again. Mm. New paradigm is coming. The new paradigm with new economy, with uh, going, going back to natural health, natural medicine, listen to your body, listen to your intuition. You don't need a government that doesn't want you thrive, that wants to take away. They have an agenda. Most governments are blind themselves. They are blind. They don't know who the very main, they're puppets. They don't think for themselves. Mm -hmm. Think for yourself right now. That is the true revolution right now. Research for yourself. Think for yourself. Take decisions for your family, for yourself, for your own body. Thank you. you already have all the answers. Mm -hmm. So can you... Tell us what's in store for humanity for the rest of this year of 2020. Can you, can you tell us what's in store? Very, very, very challenging moments. Okay. Very challenging moments. They thought that this virus was going to be very effective in their agenda, mm. but it was not. Because the human body that is transforming into a light body is stronger. So some people that want to leave and want to die because that's what their spiritual calling is. Mm -hmm. They are dying. They are leaving the body. Don't be afraid of that. It's their own personal choice. But yes, in their dark agenda, they have the virus, they have the news, the news which are mostly fake. They are a big part of their agenda. Please don't watch them. Don't believe them. They have another big agenda around division division by race, by sex. If you are divided as human beings, 
they win. Mm -hmm. That is, so every time you get caught in a fight, discussion, judgment with another person, the dark agenda is winning. Don't do that. Even, even these very, very challenging times for human, um, for the humans are ahead. The more dark it is, it becomes, the more you are, I mean, the, the, the light is, just around the corner, just at the end of the tunnel, but it gets darker when you are about to see the light, it gets darker. Okay. You need to have hope in the light. A lot of things are happening, a lot of awakenings, a lot of waves of unconditional love. A lot of twin flames waking up. A lot of forgiveness. Because this dark agenda is making a lot of people going inwards, reflect, going within, tuning in to the intuition. They don't know it, but they're just triggering the, the, the great awakening. The dark agenda is triggering the, way, the great awakening. So it is perfect. Hold on to hope. Hold on to love. Hold on to the awakening. You're not alone. That's the first thing that I said. We are in command. Mm -hmm. You are, the earth is surrounded by light right now. Can you give us a sort of rough estimate of how many uh, beings or ships or that is surrounding the earth right now? Oh. Just think that I cannot even count them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just imagine how many beings are here right now. Mm. This is a divine calling for us also. Okay. It is a divine calling for you. So when we came into this scene, Fatima was an apprentice for you. Yes. Can you tell us more about Fatima's connection to you guys and, and why we've come here to this scene today? <laughs> She's more she's more in this place than than on earth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She feels herself her fully fully herself right here. She's not ashamed of who she is. She's not ashamed of of being she's uh like a little a little baby, a little toddler. She knows now she's an angelic being mm -hmm. but uh, she struggles a lot on earth so right here she can be this joyful being that she is mm -hmm. she's family yeah. even though we're not from the same planet she's family yeah. well thank you so much for being with us today and for your time and not that time's the same for you guys as it is for us but there's no time <laughs> but thank you for being with us and is there anything else you wish to share with us thank you for listening mm. share honor. this message it's an honor share this me. message We are honored to help.